Welcome to Barn Hill guys. Last stop before Broome and it could not be more spectacular. So join us for this one and we hope you enjoy it. This is the best station stay in the Kimberley if you ask us. From the amazing amenities to the uninterrupted elevated water views, this place has something for everyone. In fact, it was so good we've done it twice. So you'll have to mind the extra hair that Bear and I have from the second time around. Sit back and soak up some of the beauty this special place has to offer. I'm Brent, this is Kel, and together with our son Bear and dog Jazz, we're travelling Australia. Come and join us for our reality. Gotta shut the door! Shut the door! <laughs> shut the window, I don't care! What window? You let all the red dirt in. It's a nanny reference. I'm sure that's a nanny. What? The nanny? Yeah. Did you used to watch that? Nanny, what oh. oh my gosh. Who didn't watch the nanny? I thought only girls watched it. Up at Barn Hill, which I think is about 100 and something k's out of Broome, and we're just going to go in and see if we uh, can get a spot and decide whether we want the unpowered or powered. I believe the unpowered are like the primo ocean views, and then the powered are back a bit, but that's just what I've heard as word on the street. Looks pretty wicked, it does look like a good spot, it's beautiful. Bun Hill Station Stay is located a short 132 clicks south of Broome and then a 9 kilometre ride in on the dirt track to the actual station itself. It's all in good nick. The station itself has awesome amenities with great playgrounds for the kids, a bowling green as well as awesome open top showers and look at those views. How good is that? times like these that uh, you really do this stuff for just pulled up at Barn Hill this afternoon just south of Broome check out this view it's nuts put the fire on just have to get a cold beer and then uh, all will be well now, this is amazing this is so close to Broome as well you cannot come up north without stopping in here because it's just spectacular I think we're pretty lucky at the moment because it's the start of the season. There's no wind. Last time we were here, it was 
blown every afternoon. It was still beautiful. This time it's just stunning. And uh, I've been watching the fish. You probably see him in the background every so often just jumping out of the water. I don't know whether it's mackerel or what out there, but it's just incredible. It's, uh, yeah, love it. Love it. Incredibly, it's just a short walk over the cliffs in front of a campsite down to your own private beach. This beach stretches for miles and is an easy stroll, even with old jets. Go on. How's this beach? Nine metre tides kind of flush it out a bit every day, but it is incredible. Go back the other way, Daz. Sinking. There's a rock pool. It's beautiful. Isn't it? It's your first big swim. Nice and warm. Nice and warm, yeah. yeah. A few little fish, one annoying dog. Mm. Gorgeous view. Not wrong. It's incredible. If you have a look. This is sort of not even the bottom of the tide yet. But you can see the wet sand. It's a nine meter tide. Nine meters. Huge. There's heaps of rock pools accessible here at Barn Hill, even on moderate tides. Make sure you get down and check it out. It's like nature's spa bar. All safe for the kids away from the waves. We are only missing the champagne. What's up, lifeguard jazz? Is that? You got the chippers. You got the chippers. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Can't tell me they don't do that because they're cold. <laughs> hmm? Only time I've seen you do it. Hey? <laughs> oh. We've got our own shower, but we thought we'd have a crack in the outdoor shower today. So we've been down the beach, had a little swim, and why not? It's a beautiful night. What do you reckon? It should be good. Thirsty. <laughs> Why would you be thirsty? Because we walked all the way to the beach. Too much salt water. Mm. Must be it. <laughs> He's dug it out. Dog's in the car over there. Hasn't gonna, even said boo. You're gonna have live music, mu music, music, and pizzas. And bruschetta. Bruschetta. Yummy. Can't wait. It's a gorgeous afternoon. Again. Incredible, isn't it? Great place for kids here, too. So where we're standing here, just in the background, this coral, it's going to be 10 metres underwater in six hours' time. That's unbelievable. Is, it is unbelievable. I mean, it's a big time, but that's, that's huge. Show you later, but there's so many colours on these rock formations of coral, like it's just you wouldn't believe it. It's so different to normal coral too. I've never seen a lot of. I'd love to know what it is. 
and not saying you think of when you think of the Kimberley. No. Well, not necessarily. Not cold. When you look around the beach, it's going to be hard to see because the sun, but that's the top of the beach all the way up there, and it's pretty steep going up. Like, it's not a long, flat, mud flat by any means. Oh, I want to go and see what's over on these other ones. It's pretty cool. Mm. Which one? It's like a smaller version of this. Mm. Is it sludgy or is it... It's almost hard. It's hard. Almost, like it's slippery. We just happen to be here during the biggest tides of the year, which is why all this coal was exposed. The station owners told us that it's only a couple of days a year that you get this opportunity, but if it happens to be while you're there, make sure you check it out. It's unreal and nothing like any coal I've seen before. So cool to see. Apart from the spectacular scenery and the amazing amenities, Barnhill also boasts some epic fishing. Come and check out some of the sessions we had to inspire you. So that took all of about 10 casts, I reckon. I don't know, I could see him busting the water, following it in. I just slowed it down a touch and he nailed it. I've got no barbs on these trebles. So I'm trying to keep tension on it the whole time or he's going to get off. And I've got a big knot in this braid as well. It's only 20 pound braid. So let's see if we can get him in. Oh yeah. yeah. Either a little GT or a little golf trail. Nice fish. Nice fish! Nice little GT. Yeah. Some sort of trevally anyway. Mm. Jeez, that's alright. Yeah. Not back, Jess. There we go. First fish at Barn Hill. Yeah. They can go back. They're not much good on the chew, so... Uh, oh, what? Uh, you can fight again another day. Oh. Thank don't, you. don't come back to me then. Okay. <laughs> no, let's get him back. Thank you, go, buddy. Nice one. Good, good, good. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? That. That. The water and the sunset. Not bad. Right, first adventures at Barn Hill. Fishing pro Pete at the front here with me. Now we got no idea what we're doing, but we're going to try anyway. We got ourselves a little GT and a nice little brim off the shore yesterday, so if we can catch them on the shore. Surely there's something out here. It looks fishy. Trolling to start off with. Fish on! Hey! Oh, that's why I'm a little Rankin cod. Rankin cod, is that alright? Yeah, don't knock me beer over. Oh, jeez. Alright, good job, Pete. First fish on the troll? Yep. Yep. First fish on the troll. Little Rankin cod. He's not huge, but no size limit up here. So, he's dinner. Nice, good fella. Five star, Ryan, five star. <laughs> here we go. Come on, give it hell. <laughs> this could take a while. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, bugger. Mm. So normally when you come fishing with me, the problem is we can't find a fish to catch. But today the problem is we can't get a fish on board the boat because they keep snapping us off or getting sharked or biting us off. And it's bloody painful. But we're going to get one, aren't we? I hope so. Because <laughs> I'm getting a little bit frustrated here. Yeah, there's some serious size down there. We've hooked a couple of good ones. We've been sharked a couple of times. And we've got a couple of little ones in, a little stripy sea perch. And I don't know what the other one was. It looked like a little mangrove jack, sort of. But uh, they're both going back. So we'll persist for a little bit longer. Whoop. Whoa! Get some serious. That's a shark. That uh, didn't take long to spill me there. Too many sharks in broom. Probably <laughs> sea perch out going for a run. And uh, let's see what happens here. Got you on the big gear this time, buddy. <laughs> that took what about a minute to hook up? If that, yep. <laughs> we just we didn't get it on video, but Pete was winding a fish in, and a monster cod knocked him right at the side of the boat. We're in 11 meters of water, so I don't know what he had on. Pulled it in, and this cod would have gone a meter and a half. He was massive. So I thought, bugger it, I'm going to put a big live on, I just called a little stripey sea perch and see what comes up. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh. All the while trying not to tip the tinny over. <laughs> see him? No, I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, look! It's a shark, is it? Yeah. Mangle Noah. Yeah, didn't expect me to pull out this gear, did ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he still wins. <laughs> oh dear. Bit of fun. That's what just got him. He bent out the snap swivel, and that's not a small snap swivel. Just bent it out. So, a lot of power in him. I don't want to be in his mouth. Oh, better luck next time. <laughs> Knock my beer over! Oh, I'm not much. again! I've lost two beers to fish today, that's all I brought. <laughs> How's this? I always knew grinners were hungry buggers, but look at the lure he's hit. It's as big as he is. Wasting our time. Back you go. We're on here, the um, skirt just went off. Jeez, I hit like a bloody... Yeah, told you, you'll know about it. <laughs> oh, let him run, let him run, let him run, let him run. Too green to come in yet, mate. Careful near the boat. Oh, oh I'm knackered already. Ah, oh, come on, it's been a minute. Okay, don't let him go under the boat because if that line hits the boat, it will snap. So you need it. Yep, good job. Let him run. GT. Oh no, it's a big mackerel. Oh, he's a ripper. All right, take it easy on him. We'll get him in. Okay. Beauty Spaniard, Pete. Bring him around here. I'll grab him by the tail. Hey! 
Oh, oh my God! Put the camera on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, Pete, you better get in the camera with him in a sec. I'll pass him over. But uh, look at the teeth on him. Mate, that's why it's got a steel leader on. I think um, we've got dinner for the next few nights now. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the freezer's working. So how's that for a fish? To the victor go the spoils, mate. Well done. He's a ripper. <laughs> Got to be happy with that. And all of that on light 20 pound braid. You can see how far we are off the shore here at Barn Hill. Give it a crack, guys. Can't go wrong. Yeah. So the second day out fishing out off Barn Hill and the boys went out yesterday and had an amazing time so I thought I'd better come out today and show them how to fish and actually get some more fish in the boat. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Alright, she's on. Pump and wind. Up and wind. What are you calling? Fish! Fish! fish. fish. It's a fish! <laughs> 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 That's what I said! <laughs> God, you're the only big gal, isn't it? Moving forward if he goes forward. Stop, stop. Oh, what is he? GT! <laughs> You. Oh, stop whining, stop whining, big GT babe. How's that? How's that? All right. Is he five star? Uh, no, he's going back. Okay. But uh, still a nice fish. <laughs> How's that? Oh. He's pretty big. He's big ass. All right, let's get him back. All right. This is hilarious. And <laughs> Remember, we practiced in the car. And <laughs> I think that might have been Noah. 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 Noah shark. Noah's ark. Ark. What's it going to be? <laughs> he came flying up because the shark was chasing him. Oh, he'd it rather just, be in the boat. It went light all of a sudden. And uh, that's because he started swimming up. Oh, Trevor the Trevally. Only uh, half the Trevally you got, babe. Oh, you can't help these things, not a competition uh, well, when you're well, up against me. Watch that rod of yours, you might pick up it. Oh, he's a bit bigger. That's might be size. Oh, pretty close. Not a nice. See, ah! careful. Ah! Fish busting up everywhere off in the distance there. Incredible. Everywhere. I hope you can see that on the camera. Well, that's it for Barn Hill. We had an awesome time um, fishing and hanging out in the caravan and just perfect weather, I think. So, start of the season and barely no wind. Nice easterlies in the morning and then it drops off to just glorious glass outs in the afternoon. So, definitely the pick of the year, I think. The pick of the time. What time of the year you want to be here? But in season. Yeah, yeah. Last time we were here, I was right at the end of the the dry, um, so quite windy, but still glorious nonetheless. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. This was our experience at Barn Hill. You. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon.